All right, Riley, off the power of a first period body lock. I thought you had a take down there at the end, but that kid, Myers, he's a true freshman, super explosive. Yeah. Going into that final and this first tournament, what did you take out of that? Um, well, first going to the final, I knew the kid had a, a high cross to the power lift. I've been watching him hit it all day. I knew it was coming, so I tried to get my hands down. Um, just to mention real quick, that kid's a stud, like my goodness, a freshman. So, uh, and then just coming in, um, we were here last year, so I kind of knew what to expect, and uh, we decided to get the season started, and I'm excited now to get the W. Looking at uh, the workout partner, Sam Wheeler, coming into the program now, how good has that been for you? You know, you got a world team member yeah. in Corba. So you guys are, you're building at Cleveland State, there's no question about it. You guys dropped, re-added, you know, your your future now is solidified. You're obviously, you wouldn't, it wouldn't have been an issue for right. you at all. But what's it like with these workout partners and the direction of the program right Yeah, now? so the partners, you touched on Corba and uh, Sam Wheeler, who transferred in from Kent. Uh, also a new GA, Fred Garcia from Lockhaven. Uh, just unbelievable partner to drill with, you know. You know, kicks my butt, and that's what I need, you know, get my butt kicks in the room. Um, and then for, in terms of the team, uh, you know, we're excited. Um, we brought, you know, High State's coming in to our gym the 24th, I think, of November. So, big match. Uh, and I think, you know, her and the coaching staff are kind of preparing to lead, you know, get go, go in the right direction. You know, a lot of, you know, with the, uh, when we got canceled, we could have went either way. So uh, I think Stahur's doing a lot of good, uh, recruiting good guys, and we're looking good for the future. Josh Moore comes in as an assistant coach. He's a, a little guy, you're a big guy. Has that affected you at all? Uh, I mean, no, absolutely. Josh is it's a huge pickup. We lost, you know, uh, other Josh uh, Zupanzik. And uh, it kind of worked out perfect that we got uh, Josh Moore, great coach, love his practices, love his workouts, and I think that he's already making me a better wrestler. You definitely have his style with those body locks, yeah. the overhooks. That's his style. Yeah. Is there anything he tried to tell you on that? Um, you know, not not nothing, anything yet. Uh, we haven't really like worked on an individual level quite yet. Uh, just basic, like general stuff. You know, we're running practice and that sort of thing. But I'm sure he will show me that kind of stuff. Last time Cleveland State had a guy ranked in the top 10, it has to be 10, 15 years ago. Prime Man Suedo brothers, someone yeah. like that. I mean, but you look at, you know, you're the first guy who's been a top 10 guy in 10, 15 years. Yeah. I dropped the Dan Carcelli name on you this, this summer. Yeah. Has that, have you thought about that, you know, getting on that All-American podium and, and putting Cleveland State back on the map? Oh, absolutely. It's my my life, basically, you know, to in March get on that podium in Madison Square Garden. I live for it every day, and I'm, I'm really excited to do it. Now we're a red shirt. We've talked about this before. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Is, is it something where you gotta, you've never redshirted? Right, the fact that I didn't redshirt. You've never redshirted. Right. right. You know, when I came in as a freshman, they needed a heavyweight. Uh, and I, I definitely took my lumps, but I'm, I'm, I'm overall proud with, you know, my decisions and not the redshirt. I graduated four years, so it's kind of been a, a weird situation anyway. So, yeah, I, I don't regret it at all. All right, bud, you got anything else for me? I don't. Go CSU. All right, buddy, thanks.